Hello everyone. Today we will be discussing about the performance metrics in cloud computing and we will be more specifically focusing on the performance metrics for those cloud platforms where uh, we will be hosting some of the IT services uh, regarding Internet of Things. So by the end of this session, students will be able to assess the performance metrics for IoT based cloud platforms. So to begin with, um, it would be a good idea for uh, beginning the things always with an example. So I'll be first of all introducing you with what is uh, cloud computing. I mean, it's going to be a short revision of what we have seen in our earlier videos and then uh, we'll be focusing on some of the most important performance metrics. So as you can see here, uh, we have the cloud computing model that we have used even in our earlier videos which is broadly classified into three layers. Now the moment whenever we are switching from a general cloud computing perspective towards an internet uh, of things kind of a perspective, the things that differs cloud computing with internet of things is that we have some sort of analytics in the back end. Like we have seen in our earlier video if you could just recall by pausing this video that we have seen a couple of IoT based frameworks uh, which are offered by Amazon Web Services, Microsoft Azure and even uh, IBM's Blue Cloud. So depending upon which specific framework you are choosing for your IoT based application, you are going to decide the protocols and those protocols in turn are going to uh, be analyzing and, uh, and adding the weight to the overall uh, security of the system, it would be the overall easiness of your system. So some of the things like scalability, uh, uh, the bandwidth, the overall throughput, and the amount of time it takes between the failures and the amount of response time, all these things actually count uh, the performance metrics. As you can see in this example, uh, if you consider any uh, monitoring application which, uh, which comes somewhere in application layer, like uh, one of the examples that we have seen, uh, uh, called AWS Analytics. Either you can go with AWS Analytics or if you want to uh, begin with a small example which is free of cost then you can go to thingspeak.com and register for a free account where you can use their APIs for uh, attaching your sensors with the help of those uh, 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 predefined APIs and then you can write a firmware for your controller and sense the data. So specific to a monitoring application uh, or you are trying to collaborate maybe by using a uh, Google Docs based online documentation or maybe you are trying to communicate with people based on an online chat program. If all these things come under application layer then probably you need to focus on those protocols that reside under the application layer of your cloud computing platform. So the availability of the system and the service as a whole definitely matters and this is one of the top most performance metric that you need to assess before choosing any uh, cloud service and if you have already chosen you need to analyze the following things. Because it never happens like you have chosen a particular cloud platform for your IoT specific application and you are whether uh, I mean whether you have to be uh, going for their premium version or you want to switch back to some other service from uh, another vendor, it has to be completely decided by analyzing the performance metrics. Second is uh, you have reliability. I mean reliability can be counted by analyzing two times. That is mean time between failures and mean time to repair. So the mean time between failure in the sense for example if I have a complete one day server, consider we are analyzing this uh, reliability of the server for Consider we are analyzing the reliability of the server for one complete day, that is 24 hours. So if, let us say that uh, somewhere at 11 p.m. to 11, uh, 15 p.m. the service was down. So in these cases, we will be saying that out of 24 hours, 15 minutes you need to negate because that was the time where we were trying to maintain our server or maybe we were trying to repair our server maybe due to it could be enormous amount of issues. So 
what we need to focus here is the mean time between failures is total 23 hours and 45 minutes i mean my service i mean my server is actually giving me a service for completely 23 hours and 45 minutes whereas 15 times i mean 15 uh, minutes it was completely down due to uh, some sort of maintenance and other issues so reliability is something where the mt bf factor needs to be very high in comparison with the mttr which stands for mean time to repair and also uh, response time which is a third performance metrics is equally important for instance if i'm uh, if i'm trying to play a video on my server where i have hosted it and then uh, if it is taking me too much amount of time for responding uh, irrespective of the how many clients are uh, parallelly trying to access it and all so you need to take care like response times need to be really quick as compared to uh, a very slow moving sites next is security for instance you would never want uh, your gmail account or personal uh, email based accounts or personal document based uh, accounts or services being hacked nobody would like to uh, get their bank accounts hacked so the reason is everybody wants a very good security so whenever you are talking about the security aspect of a particular service you are hosting some important data on your web service you don't want those i mean that data to be hacked and manipulated so because of this uh, you must be choosing a service where security comes on a top priority where there are uh, very strong uh, i mean where there is an availability of very strong encryption models like maybe rsa or some other similar encryption models so throughput is also sometimes known as bandwidth for example you are uh, hosting some 100 videos on your website and uh, you if your service is uh, i mean if your service provider hosting service provider is unable to uh, fetch i mean upload and download the data uh, uh, in a given bandwidth then it is uh, probably a mismanagement of bandwidth where the speed th even though a consumer is having a very high uh, rate of uh, internet i mean very high speed internet even then your service being slow he would be uh, feeling that even his internet connection is slower so it should not happen like uh, a person who is trying to fetch the data from your service uh, maybe like with a speed of 2 mbps should not uh, find it uh, that your service uh, or your hosting service is not giving you that much amount of throughput i mean if you if, if he is trying to access the data at 2 mbps you are giving the data at 1 mbps then definitely there is going to be a drop in the throughput and the overall bandwidth of uh, the service So point number six, seven, and eight, that is capacity, scalability, and latency. These three things play an important role uh, in identifying the overall quality of your system uh, along with the service. So what it says is that the capacity of how much storage it is giving you, like maybe one GBPS or uh, with a speed of one GB per month, or it is giving you a scalability feature or not, whether there is any latency being offered by your service. Maybe, for example, you have... Uh, uh, consider that you have uploaded a data of 1 GB on your uh, hosting server and later on if you say that you have uh, an analytical model being run on your service in the backend if it is taking too much amount of period uh, for processing then definitely it is going to be counted somewhere uh, in the reliability and the response time model so if a particular service is being offered at a very less latency I mean, if the latency is too high, then definitely your response time and reliability and it, altogether your service is going to be degraded. So that's all for this video. Uh, and these are the references used for the resources. Thank you.